Hello, my name is Mr. Beck. I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas, and this is the third part in our series on sculpting. Um, what I've got here is a model that conforms roughly to the model that was created in parts one and two using the sculpting tools. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to add hair to this, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is when you're finished sculpting your model out, and once again, this is a rough model that I put together here. Um, I have purposely kept it at a pretty low resolution so that I can make this video without having to wait um, and have you know a lot of choppiness because the more faces and the higher the resolution of the model, the slower the computer runs. And unfortunately, the computer I'm on right here isn't as uh, top-notch as I might like. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that all of my multi-resolution levels have been applied. Okay, so I'm going to click Apply Multi-Res. And now I can't go back. I can't back up and down levels there, and I've got it all set. Um, I'm going uh, to hit 7 to go into top-down mode. I'm going to hit Shift-D to duplicate this model. All right. Oh, I have to be in object mode to do that, so I'm going to come down here and make sure that I'm in object mode. Shift-D. And I'm going to pull out a duplicate of this model. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because we'll be able to see the model on the left, but we're going to turn the model on the right into a particle emitter. And uh, you can't, when you make an object a particle emitter, you can't see the mesh. You can only see the particles that the mesh is emitting. So I'm going to hit period on the number pad to zoom in on the model on the right. And we're going to start by making this a particle emitter. So I'm going to click on my physics buttons here. And I'm going to come over to the particles button right there. And I'm going to choose add new. All right. Um, and this is going to make it a particle emitter. So I'm going to come down, and the one thing we're going to change is normal. And the normal value is going to be how long the hair is. So I'm going to choose 0.5, fairly reasonable value. And you come out, you still can't see anything. Over uh, into particle system, we've got emitter. I'm going to go ahead and choose hair this time. All right. And you can see now that hair has popped out all around our model. But that's not exactly what we want. We want the hair to stick uh, to a certain part of the model. So I'm going to come up here to object mode and uh, right there. And this time, I'm going to choose Weight Paint. All right, And Weight Paint allows us to create a vertex group. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to paint an area on here using Weight Paint, about like that. Real simple, real easy. I'm going to paint a mohawk area. OK. And uh, what that did is under my editing buttons, that created a new vertex group. OK. So I'm going to come back. To just, I'm just showing you that. And under Particles, we've got Particle buttons here. Down in the bottom right of our Particle properties, it says Vertex Group. All right? And uh, the question is, if you click over there, right where I clicked, it's going to give you a list. It's going to, say, it's going to show you what Vertex Groups are available. In this case, we've only got one. So I'm going to say, OK, well, let's stick these particles to that Vertex Group. If you pop out, you can see now that your hair is on that particular Vertex Group. OK, so the next step is to comb this hair. So uh, under where it says weight paint, I'm going to change that to particle mode. All right. And uh, in order to bring up the properties box, I'm going to hit N. It's in November. All right. And uh, particle edit properties. It says right now system isn't editable. Well, under my particle buttons, we've got a property there that says set editable. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And that's going to give me a whole list of options up here. Um, comb, smooth, weight, add, length, cut, puff. Uh, I'm going to choose comb. And once again, we've got size and strength here. And I'll leave it alone. And if I come over to the model and I choose the comb brush, uh, just by sweeping through it, you can see now that you're able to do things like comb the hair. All right, so now you can sort of work with that fro a little bit. Um, I'm going <laughs> to come over here to the right where it says cut. All right, and this is something that just sort of you know you can see that he's got uh, he's got some hair coming out there where you don't want it. So I'm going to choose cut, and I'm just going to sort of give it cut cut that fro back a little bit. All right, and we get the hair the way we want it. So the next move is okay. I'm going to come into object mode. We're going to color the hair. All right, and uh, let's see what this looks like right now. Good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the shader property there. And we're going to add a new material, okay? And this is with our particle model selected. 
Uh, under color, I'll go ahead and choose blue. And these are particles, so sometimes you can do neat things with particles. Like under render pipeline, if you check halo, this is kind of neat. Um, you can go up to the tab over here that says shaders. All right. And uh, you could select, for example, lines. Okay. And if you've selected halo now, you have an option here that says line. Okay. And right now it's white, but I'll go ahead and pick a color like pink. All right. And that's going, oh, I, I chose ring. Choose line pink. Ring is also an option over there. Okay. And we're going to get something that looks like this as a preview of our material. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, grab the camera and get it positioned where I'd like it. And I, I selected the camera. I hit zero to go into camera mode. And I hit R twice. Now I'm hitting R once and I'm centering my model just so that the camera will be able to see it. Okay, um, I'm not quite ready to render this picture yet. Um, what I need to do is, okay, because what I've got here is I've got a particle emitter. And like I said before, particle emitter, you can only see the particles that it's emitting, so you can only see the hair. Um, on the model on the left, you can see the mesh because it's a solid model. We need to snap these two together. So I'm going to select the model on the left. I'm going to hit Shift S, and I'm going to choose Cursor to Selection. And that's going to put the cursor right in the center of this model. Uh, I'm going to select the mesh on the right, and I'm going to hit Shift S, and I'm going to choose Cursor, or I'm sorry, Selection to Cursor. Boom. And uh, now these two models have been snapped together, the face and the hair. All right? Um, and if I render the frame, this may take a second. There we go. I've created a fairly simple model, so it renders fairly quickly. Um, you can see that we've got a basic model, and the hair has uh, all the properties we've associated with it. Okay, So the ability to add hair to a model and comb it and uh, add color and light and all, all kinds of things to it. Fairly simple process. All right. And that is how we do it. That's how we put those two things together. And if you want to move it, okay, uh, the thing to do is you put it into particle mode just to kind of check down here. And so I right click there, and you can see that there are no particles. So this is our mesh. And if I shift and I right click, all right, it selects the model that's underneath. Okay, the last model selected will be the parent. All right, so I'm going to hit Control P, and I'm going to choose right there. Make parent, and now when I select the mesh that has particle properties, both of them will move G to grab, and you can see now that I'm able to move the model around. Okay, and uh, they now move together, the hair and the mesh, and that is how you add basic hair to your model. I know I kind of messed it up; doesn't look great, but uh, the basic concept is what counts. So thanks for watching, and have a nice day.